Hi everybody, this is Gary Dean with Sentiment Timing and this is our technical video report for Wednesday, July 10th, 2024. So the Bulls, uh, they, they just aren't letting up at all and I'm not really quite sure what the euphoria was today, but um, it was pretty much non-stop. So this is the the uh, chart of the, of the daily chart and I have this as, you know, we have a one, two, let me see, yeah, one, two, this is our wave three right here four and now we're making this wave five so if when we get when we look at it here what we want to see is once this wave five ends that's when we're going to get the larger pullback but i've been saying that you know they can uh extend the these wave fives and that's pretty much what they're doing and today i mean I don't know how healthy it is when it's just a non-stop bid because people are chasing to get in and I mean it they're right right now but when it turns um I I really would not be surprised to see a 5% correction in a week it, it's one of those things it's very similar to what took place right before COVID when we you know kind of knew COVID was around and everybody was ignoring it and they just kept bidding up the market and once COVID hit, we had that massive drop. I'm not saying anything like that is going to happen, but I'm saying that whenever we get into these euphoria phases, uh, probably the last one would be this is the uh, this is the daily chart. So it would probably be right in the actually. Let me see. This is the is this the hang on one second. Okay, so yeah, th this was the euphoria that I was looking for. So this is going back into 2021. We just kept going straight up. We had a little dip up, and but it was it, for the most part we went almost a year and a half just straight up without any any pullbacks. And the euphoria was at extremes here, and from there we had this big drop, bounce up and drop, and then that took us into this uh, October low. And you can see we had some moves that were going, you know, that, that were making sense, meaning that, you know, we'd have a move up, a little release, move up, release. Um, and and then we, we had this, and now this is the, you know, the move that really took me by surprise. And one of the reasons why I, I was surprised about today is there was a call wall at, uh, at the 5600 and the 5610. And we have these sell signals, the internals, nothing has changed at all. Uh, the, the NIAD is still on a sell signal. The put call ratio is back down to uh, everybody's on, on the bullish side right now. So I thought one of those levels were going to hold this down. Um, obviously, that was dead wrong because we blew right through the 5600. And before we knew it, we were right through to 5610. Uh, so that was, you know, I, I didn't really see that coming all that much on that, but it, it's, you know, it is what it is. We get these melt ups and the thing is we have CPI tomorrow. So are we going to have another melt up tomorrow if the numbers are good? I mean, how, how many, uh, how, how long can they price in a rate cut <laughs> because they've been doing it since 2022 uh i mean if, if if the entire rate cuts aren't already baked into this market i'm not quite sure what is but in any case um so here we are where we're, uh, we were trading within this wedge again why i was thinking somewhere in these levels here was going to pull it back and we're going to get it but as i said we just kept going over and then it was just a massive kind of short squeeze the last hour but um I'm, I'm still not trusting this market at all right now um I, there's just too many people that are well some people are cautious right now i'm seeing more of that but i mean for the most part just the way this this has been going on uh there, there's really not much fear but we have these sell signals this right here is almost setting a record for the rsi being in the overbought levels um i went back and i was checking to see the last time that we had anything like that and there really isn't. Uh, I mean, I, it, it was you have to go back a pretty long time to be able to. Okay, so this right here. So this was probably another. This is going back to 2023, 12, 2023. So I'm just going to move up from here because that's where the it, it happened and see what took. Actually, I have to go the other way because uh, this is a while ago. Okay, so this was the what happened when we we had this extended move and and it's very similar actually if you look at what's going on today um th this is looks very similar and from here we had the s p go from 4781 down to 4694 and that was in one day so this is kind of what i i'm 
I would not be that surprised to see take place. And and we're going to, you know, like I said, the, the my timing model is looking for, uh, you know, a top to come next week. But if it, you know, continues higher, I'm at the top maybe this week and we start down. I, I don't, it's it's hard to say on this, but, you know, seeing that this is going to be the, the line that the Bears need to get through to 55-50. If they don't, if they do that, then we're going to have a quick move down to the 54, uh, 5,500. Below that, we go to 5,400. On the upside, I don't even know. I don't, I'm not really quite sure. We just have to kind of go into the tens. So say the next one is you have the 56 forties, 56 50 and 56 60 though. That's really, you know, there's really no other ways to be able to do that. But in any case, uh, you know, if it moves up in these, you know, unless these divergences are, fil- are, are, um, are fixed and the internals are fixed uh you know i wouldn't be surprised to see that 100 point move uh on the downside and you know it would be i i mean me because like i said i i I won't chase it up here uh the the markets it's just uh i think it's too risky to be holding anything but the it's you know if they head higher they're just inflating this balloon more and more and when it pops it's the harder that it falls so uh you know this this is pretty much it It, until the bears can get through this 55 50 uh it's you know obviously the first line they're gonna have to get through is the 5600 and then down to the 55 50 so let's see what plays out tomorrow have a great night and i'll talk to you guys in the morning